Hey guys, welcome on to yet again to another showdown sweep. In today's one, we got ourselves a Aspera sweep. Now, this Pokemon is quite an un, like kind of a very oh, like it's a very like very popular Pokemon, but well, not really popular, but really like good in competitive battles and it's it's so good cuz I will tell you because this this Pokemon like honestly, yeah, like I don't know why the Game Freak decided to make this Pokemon, but it's so overpowered almost because you hit let me tell you <laughs> now you're probably thinking how is this so overpowered but let me tell you first of all it has I mean first of all it has a good speed with 105 on the speed side it has 101 for the special type which is average you're probably thinking okay that's all right why would you think it's so OP it has um, 95 for HP solid right and then it has 60 uh, and then it has 60 on the rest of the stats physical attack melee or uh, or, uh, yeah. Special defense, may, uh, uh, physical defense, and the m physical attack. And you're probably wondering what? How is that even OP? We have already, we have already witnessed some other crazy Pokemon, right? <laughs> well, this Pokemon may be look innocent to you, but this thing is a monster. <laughs> and let me tell you, because this thing has like absolutely everything you need to know about it. So, like, let me show you. First of all, it gets it has a lots of cool abilities. Get opportunity opportunities, which is I'm pretty sure it's one of its uh, few uh, signature ability. I think I'm not sure, but I'm not really much of work about that one. I will get frisk and speed boost, and speed boost in this battle will be a lots of lots of happening going on as well. Now this thing can learn a lot of cool special moves, <laughs> like it has it can learn lots of variety. I'm not gonna mix and uh, show you all of them. But this thing is a very, very like popular one. It even gets access to baton pods because it can use a lots of cool coverage move to baton pods or sweep with the the um the upcoming trainers or people that you want to use versus. And I'll be gonna be see how powerful this thing even is. <laughs> now we got free battles on this one, and we have a. Uh, this very overpowered Pokemon. Now he also gets a cool new move called, uh, let me see here, I think it learns Lumion or Lumina Crash, which is a signature move. It's a 80 base power move, 100% accuracy, and gets 100% chance to lower your target's special defense by two, which is quite overpowered almost. So, <laughs> this thing, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if this should be allowed in show anymore. But yeah, let me actually let's just start play. And this thing, I'm gonna just tell you people, like this thing was very powerful in battle. So yeah, we're gonna have to press play and show you what's going on. Now that wasn't really my. Now the first battle, we wasn't really going for a Asperus at uh, uh, what's it called? Esfera sweep. I was doing a couple random showdown battle and was doing a trying to do like a couple attempts with other Pokemon. Now we got this. I uh, got uh, Mr. Burning Hatred, <laughs> which is a uh, Coridon. It's gonna use um, <coughs> it's gonna use uh, its signature move collation course, which already we just explained what it does. And then I went for soak, turn into water type, and then switch into Glade. It used Drain Punch, and I was gonna do for discharge afterwards, but didn't do much because you know it's not watered anymore. <laughs> so I went for a charge, and since I'm not exactly as fast as thing, I'm not since I'm not Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, I'm gonna go down by another um, Drain Punch, and goes down by one of my favorite shinies in the game. Now we're gonna go to my Meow Scarda. This was at, uh, my secondary sweep uh, chance. I went for a scratch <laughs> for content, and it's gonna go down from a drain punch. Now this thing is a big threat, so I was thinking of maybe I can try go for a different. Uh, maybe I can set up uh, my Duck Drio and then go for a couple. Um, oh, sorry, I meant to click on. I can go for Stealth Frog and then I can go for Memento and then just just switch straight back to uh, es uh, Esfera. And that's is what's gonna happen. Hope you guys and girls enjoy this one, and I will give you a full explanation at the end of the battle. And enjoy the OP as fair as sweep. Oops.
All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that first battle. That was a very unexpected uh, and pretty uh, lucky sweep there. And as you said, uh, as I said, that was a very lucky one. And hope you guys can go to notice one. Now the next battle was against uh, JCC twenty nine, and uh, this was also one of those un unexpected sweeps that I wasn't going for. Uh, I was just doing a couple random battles and was trying some other uh, attempted sweeps and. Yeah, ended up doing another one. <laughs> now, as I said, this one didn't have uh, that. That first battle had stored power, and that was the time when I didn't know um, it had a signature move. By then, and I in the first two battles, I actually had stored power and not Luminian uh, Lumin Crash, as you probably was already figure out right now. You're wondering, wait, did it have Luminian Luminian's Crash? What happened to that? Well, that's because I didn't know it had uh, <laughs> a different move or it had a signature move or not. So the first two battle we had stored power, both competitive moves, and the third battle we're gonna have reveal the move uh, Luminian Crash and show you what exactly happened. So yeah. So the uh, second battle we went there and we're gonna have versus someone uh, uh, JCC29. It had a a, a, a Cloud Sire and it's literally named Cl wait Cl uh, Cloud Sire? Cloud it's not Cloud, it's it's a <laughs> yeah, you know what? No, 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 people listen. Cloud Sire, that's the new and uh, the new generation of Quagsire. It's gonna be a flying type. <laughs> literally also has the face of a Quagsire. And also I realized a lot of, there's a lot of few Pokemon that actually has a little mid like a little face there. It, it, wait, actually, they don't Quagsire it has the same reaction almost. But yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm getting off track. So yeah. Uh, I went went for a soak and tried to turn it to a water type, but have water absorbed, so that's kind of just turn it off and yeah, it work out. So then I went for a discharge. I know it's a ground type, but I was like, okay, but that's pretty much uh, that. I couldn't do anything. I had no choice but to uh, um, sacrifice that one and uh, went for the water absorb, and that went down. So yeah, um, so yeah, I went down, and the next Pokemon I switched into was my own Cloud Sire. Now this was my another another Pokemon sweep I was gonna try attempt. But uh, <clears throat> this thing had quite an attack uh, stat, and I'm not sure if it's running max speed or not. I wasn't running my own one, so yeah. So that went with my uh, my own Esfera, and you're probably thinking, well, is it a time to sweep? Nope, I wasn't doing a sweep here. So I went for a Feather Dance with my own Esfera. This wasn't like the time I was going to do the sweep. I was trying to lower its attack so I could switch it to my uh, Clode Sire. Clode Sire? Or Clode Sire? How do you pronounce the name? I don't know. But yeah, I went straight back into it, and then the uh, Pelafin went <coughs> uh, went to uh, uh, back into it. But oh, actually, just what, what am I saying? <laughs> I wasn't about to use the move, but <laughs> never mind. Sorry. But yeah, it switched back into uh, switched back into Mudsdale, and uh, yeah, that's when I tried to like. I guess I was doing a couple. I was trying to hope that I can live that one, but that that thing we just one shot it and uh, bye bye that one. So I went for uh, my Dodge Drill, and then went for Stealth Throw and Memento to the, the Mudsdale. And then I, or actually, then my mentor went to sand attack. Sorry. So yeah, this thing was really unexpected since I wasn't sure if this uh, was gonna work out. I went for ancient power, trying to get the um, ancient power boost. This was another sweeping attempt, and went for Glimora uh, sweep, and <laughs> yeah, it didn't work out. So that went for heavy slam. I know that would have probably one shot me if it lands. So yeah, I led, I landed a critical hit on the ancient power. And uh, that didn't work out. Anyways, I lived on one HP with that, and I didn't have a sash. I have a weakness policy set, and that went <laughs> completely uh, much of a fail. But I thought, well, this might be a perfect opportunity to switch in my Esfera, and uh, maybe we can attempt another uh, uh, another sweep. And that's exactly what happens. Hope you guys and girls enjoy this one and enjoy the sweep of Esfera number two.
All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the second battle. That was some fresh salt coming out in that second battle. They were so mad they couldn't actually encounter the uh, S Pharaoh set. And now you tell it now that <laughs> this is exactly why it's so overpowered because of its a bit like its abilities and move set. It's got it's so crazy. But yeah, next battle, the last battle is gonna be against uh, Sleepy Ninja. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly how. Um, uh, I wasn't sure if this was going to work out much. I mean, it had a good team, but I wasn't sure if this was going to be legitimately or not much. I mean, it technically has a bomb. It has a Obama snow. It had the Houndstone. But you know what? It worked. I pretty much allowed myself into it. So, yeah. So, we're pretty much going to press play. There will be much not to, much to talk about. And I'll give you a full explanation. And this set is pretty much similar, but I just replaced store power with uh, Luminian Crash. And, uh, yeah, that's time for another s Ferris sweep. Can we get some salt, or are we just going to get some good luck? Alright, enjoy the Aspera sweep on uh, number 3, and uh, yeah, we'll see you at the full explanation at the end of the battle. Alright, enjoy. Alright guys, I hope you guys and girls enjoy the both of those sweeps. And like I said, this thing is quite an overpower psychic type Pokemon. And yeah, this thing is <laughs> not gonna lie, I think they should probably uh reconsider maybe, you know, banning a couple of these moves because they are quite overpowered. But yeah, let me explain that the S Farrow set and let me show you what exactly how to exactly run this set in case you want to run the for your own little like temp, temp, like attempt this I'm oh, sorry I can't even speak anymore <laughs> but this is just too, it's just too powerful but yeah we have two sets and they have similarity to each other they are just the, the only difference between it is one of them is kind of just 
what I wasn't named the base around it, but uh, one of them is that just something I just made up and something that is based on what the it actually it's meant to be. So yeah, uh, the first set is kind of like the base set uh, is pretty much simple. We got max health, max defense with plus uh, four on the or with four on the um, special attack. We got bold nature as the um, as the nature. We got calm mind, roost, stored power, or luminian crash, depending on your running and feather dance and the ability is speed boost and the item is leftover so you basically don't have to run any like speed evs you just run speed boost and <laughs> yeah that wins that that would just wins the whole thing almost <laughs> like <you're, laughs> like there's no reason to run like sticky web or anything like that it's just quite a fast pokemon once it gets like two speed boosts or not it just it's so overpowered but yeah so let me explain how this uh, how this set works so um like Lumion, okay, so uh, Luminion Crash, uh, let me actually tell you one of them at least, uh, what exactly. So, first of all, yes, I know that one of them is, uh, I, I know that I'm meant to not show two set, uh, separately, but let me just do it anyway so I don't have to worry about it. So yeah, so we have Calm Mind to boost my uh, special attack and special defense, um, then I have Feather Dance uh, in case there is any physical attackers wants to appear on my, just in my face, just want to say hi, <laughs> and I just dropped their attack by two, so I don't have to worry about the physical, like, I, like, here's the thing, if I had, like, something to increase my, my physical defense, I would have obviously used it, however, the only problem is that there aren't any moves it can learn that increases physical defense, so I thought, well, Feather Dance can work out similar, it just lowers your opponent's defense, um, uh, defense, attack, by two stages, and then you could just start setting up Calm Mind, and just set up a couple Roost, and <laughs> you should be good to go. And so yeah, two different sets. One of them is Store Power because I was the first set wasn't well. I wasn't really sure that I had any signature move, so I just used Store Power to just obliterate every type of like all the Pokemon that I saw. However, there was a strange thing I was uh, that I just noted. Uh, however, there's that little uh, what's it called the. Um, uh, what's what's the thing? It's the um, it's the um, what was the th uh, the gigant uh, hammer? So yeah, uh, Tink Tinkatong, Tinkatong. So yeah, that Tinkatong actually lived that, that damage. I'm not sure if that was either like max special defense or max attack or or like max health. But that thing lived it because the possibility is because it said uh, it's resist uh, because it's a part steel type and since store power wasn't fully like maximized on the special attacking set or like had like had, i think i only had like two on oh wait no that's a difference that's a difference uh, uh, wait, actually is it that one? Oh great i can't even remember that one oh my god but yeah uh yeah the, actually um the um like you can actually uh, i think was it the actual tinkaton yeah, it was probably the one. I, I, I'm mixing up my battle, sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking of someone else, but yeah. Um, like, Tinkatong was able to live that one because it was a part steel type, probably. And, yeah, I don't know how exactly it might be. Might be salt, salt or something, I don't know. But yeah, that can be a good counter. However, there's a huge counter to this t uh, set, and that is possibly everyone would have known this one, and that is dark type. Now, to use this set, um, you can actually replace Feather Dance to like something like Dazzling Gleam, or something like um, something like with a fairy type move in case that happens. You can also have disarming voice, um, also, and also you can also have uh, what's uh, does anyone learn any other special moves besides that? Uh, let me check. So let me see. Can I learn any bug? You can learn pounce and U turn. Nope. Doesn't how many fairy types they learn? It gets disarming, uh, dazzling gleam, and disarming voice. Yeah. So those are the only two options you get and. Um, other than that, that's pretty much how this set works. So, uh, um, quite an overpowered Pokemon, and I think they probably should uh, turn it off and re <laughs> like remake a different like. So at least they may they have to make maybe try to, like lower its, its stats or base stats a bit lower, or at least ban the speed boost and remove obviously um like maybe they can get rid of Calm Mind maybe or not Calm Mind Stored Power Speed Boost and uh, Stored Power quite an OV. Uh, overpowered the um, build if I have to see myself and after that once you get a couple speed boosts and calm mind you got yourself a store power sweep now the other sets basically similarity with it they just have I have a Lumin Luminia or Lumina Lumina crash oh my god I can't say that's name anymore and once it just, just got, uh, set up a couple calm minds it's pretty much uh, 
just just hope that I was helping. I can just one shot it. Now I actually had um, Gl uh, Glimoro setting up Toxic Spice on the second battle, and lucky for me that I was able to use um, I was able to uh, get the poison out of the Obama Snow, so I end up have to you know take another hit or like just do another one because. Um, so yeah, I end up, you know, spent wasting more time because, you know, I, I wanted to get these sweeps done and I wanted to just show you people how it works. Um, now you can actually run also a physical attacking one if, if you want to be like me. Um, <laughs> you had to unfortunately set up a lot of baton passing set then, but it still can work pretty fine. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't learn any, like, physical moves, unfortunately, or not physical move, if physical uh, status move or something like that. Um, you're probably gonna need like weakness policy and maybe a, a couple, um, a couple, uh, a couple. What's it called? Um, a, a couple, a couple bulk. That that's it. A couple, a couple bulk. And after that, it's you should be good to go. You could actually run similarity with the set. Um, you can run obviously uh, feather dance as you know your status move to drop your opponent's attack. Roost to heal yourself, and then run any like depend on like you can use like uh, low kick <laughs> for um, fighting type or any heavy Pokemon, or run um, maybe like uh, you can learn what actually uh, else it learns like it can learn um, let's see here it can learn Zen Headbutt which could be also a move we can learn you can run a Zen Headbutt set if you want to be like me. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much the set for the s set. It's quite an overpowered Pokemon. And I also give this uh, Terra type fighting. <laughs> not because, you know, <laughs> it's an obvious pick, but, you know, I'm not going to also. I'm, I'm only used to fighting Terra for fighting to give myself less stab for the battle. So, you know, I end up getting stab psychic. Plus, it's a good one because in case there's any, like, bug or any dark type i had to tear myself into a fighting type so i don't end up getting a super affected by that and other than that that's pretty much it for the strategy um this pokemon is quite overpowered and i uh, hope you guys enjoy this set or this this over abuse this no overpower set and uh yeah that's pretty much it and uh, we'll see you guys and girls for another highlight i'll probably put up the next couple sweeps will be probably the starter line one so you will probably will see some of that as well so see you guys then and peace stay like out there